Hello friends, welcome to Neela Studio. In today's video, I am going to show you drafting of three different kinds of sleeves. Means different length of sleeves. First one is a cap sleeve. Second one is basic sleeve. Third one is three fourth sleeve. And all these sleeves is to fit for the pattern which I showed you earlier for thirty six chest measurement. Okay. So to start with, let me show you the drafting for cap sleeve. Cap sleeve is actually ideal to make it for a high neck blouse, but you can use it even for a deep neck blouse. Okay, and basic sleeve is ideal for wedding blouse where you can do your ari embroidery. Okay, and three fourth sleeve is also good for wedding blouse or even for. ordinary deep neck blouse or high neck blouse but all these three sleeves pattern is ideal for 36 inch chest measurement which i showed you in my earlier video for the back and for the front drafting okay to start with i am going to show you for cap sleeve which is a short sleeve let us see the measurements the length of the sleeve is 3.5 inches armhole is 16 inches as taken for the blouse 36 chest and biceps will be 14 inches cap height is 3.75 sleeve hem will be 14 inches as we need the sleeve hem to be slightly up to start with draw a straight line on the chart like this first and then take 0.3 inches and draw another Line. This is going to be the seam allowance for this blouse on the top. Then measure three point seven five from the topmost line which we drew till down for the cap height. Then draw a straight line down on this point. Take point three mm below this line for sleeve hem and draw a line. See now I'm going to. Take half armhole measurement, which is eighteen. So keep the tape on top here, okay, here, and then, and then mark eight inch here on this line, okay. Mark here. At the same time, we know the sleeve hem is fourteen inches. So fourteen inches means your sleeve hem is seven inches here. right okay so next what we need to do is we need to take about 3/4 inch down here okay here and mark another point here and then take half of this 7 which is 3.5 okay then you can make a curve shape like this here okay This is for the cap sleeve. See next, I'm going to take about three four inch here. Okay, three four inch and mark here. And same way, I'm going to take another three four inch here and mark inside. And then we'll have two here and we have marked here also. Next, we need to take the measurement of this half of this, which is uh, seven. Half is three point five, right here, and then take another five and mark here. Okay, same way, you have to take the measurement of this length also, which is coming to three point seven five. Take half of three point seven five and mark, and another half you take here. Okay, then now you draw the line. here and here so this is the midpoint to turn the armhole curve so you have to now connect this point to this point and then to this 3/4 inch which we have taken inside so connecting this point to this point and then to this point and then you can shape this a 
and then actually you can even extend this line here okay then take about 1.2 inches here for the seam allowance okay now next take from here about half an inch okay down here and then again you have to shape this connecting this to this now okay okay so we are done with the cap sleeve but i will just darken only the area which i'm going to cut i'll just darken this okay Now let me show you drafting of basic sleeve. Basic sleeve is always very common which we normally do for all the saree blouses. But this basic sleeve is ideal for a wedding saree blouse. Okay. So that you can do embroidery for the sleeves. So this basic sleeve I am drafting with a sleeve length of 10 inches. Armhole is same as 16 inches which we have taken the front and back. Biceps will be 14 inches, cap height is 3.75 and sleeve hem is 10.5. But it's up to your measurement. You can always change and follow the same uh, formula and you can proceed with the drafting of sleeve pattern. So to start with, this is a folded chart. Okay, always use a folded chart like this for drafting a sleeve pattern. So keep like this. Okay. Then you can draw a line on top like this. Okay. And then take 0.34 seam allowance and mark here. And then draw another line. Okay. Then measure the length. The length of the blouse which I am going to draft now is 10 inches. So from here, from Leave the seam allowance and from below that mark from here and then you make a point here. This is your sleeve length. So you can draw another line here for the sleeve length. Then again you can take 0 0.3. 0 0.3 mm you can take for seam allowance. Why I am taking 0.3 for seam allowance for this is because when you do an embroidery blouse, you can always, it will be easy for you to attach and turn it around the blouse. If you don't want, if you want normal blouse, then you can take about one and a half inch of, you know, seam allowance and turn it and then you can hem it also. Okay. Next step is we have to draw the cap height the cap height is 3.75 so from where you take 3.75 is we have to take it from here okay 3.75 which comes here so you draw another line here for your cap height 
what is your armhole round armhole round is 16 inches so half of that is going to be 8 inches so keep from here and mark here 8 inches here okay this is your armhole round point okay next to shape the back armhole curve you need to measure from here to here and take half of it that is you got 7 inches okay because this is your biceps so 3.5 is your half the measurement and take another half and draw here like this same way measure here and you are getting 3.75 right so half of that you can take here so half of this will be 1.7 so which will come here okay then take another half half an inch here and mark here so you will draw a line only on the half an inch added line here like this why we are drawing this as i told you repeatedly i'm saying to get the midpoint for the armhole curve to be turned and marked here so from here you take 3/4 inch inside here you mark 3/4 inch here inside here at the same way mark here also 3/4 inch now you have to connect this point this point to this point and to this point for the back armhole curve so you can keep like this and then connect it yeah so now i'm going to and also i'm going to shape it here to connect to this point so this is your back armhole curve now how do we shape the front armhole curve just take about half an inch below and mark a point here and then shape it again from this point to this point only then you can take the pattern master and turn it and connect here or you can even use the french curve to connect here you are now connecting to this line okay so this is your front armhole curve this is your back armhole curve next let's see the sleeve hem sleeve hem is 10.5 inches so the half of 10.5 is 5.2 5.2 will be here okay so then you connect this to this now you have to connect the sleeve hem end point so that you will have to connect here like this then you measure 1.2 inches which is for your side seam allowance and mark here same way mark here and then connect these two also i always take 1.2 only for the side seam so we have taken this but if you want your blouse to be fitted well here then you can give a slight curve shape here is draw a curve like this here and then here so this will give a nice tight fitting for your sleeve so this is your back armhole curve front armhole curve this is your sleeve hem this is your cap height this is your biceps and then we can cut it out i will draw the front armhole curve with a different color so that you will know to just keep it here where you are going to stitch it okay see here you are getting exactly 8 inches and the same way the sleeve hem should be 5.2 so we are having 5.2 here So now let me cut out the pattern. Now make a notch here, then here, 
and also here okay so then open it and make a notch at the center cut out the front separately after opening the fold okay so now it's done the basic sleeve is done so you can use this sleeve for making any wedding blouse or even ordinary plain blouse means you'll have to add here about 1.5 and fold it and stitch it if not if you are making a wedding blouse then you can draw the design like this keep the border here fold it here and then attach facing okay so i hope this is clear to you and you understood this Next, I will show you the three-fourth sleeve pattern. Hello, friends. Now I am going to show you drafting of three-fourth sleeve. So, for three-fourth sleeve, the sleeve length I am going to take thirteen inches. Armhole is going to be same as sixteen inches. Biceps also will be the same as fourteen inches. Only the cap height will be slightly big to four inches. Sleeve hem will be nine inches. Okay. So let me start drafting now for the three-fourth sleeve. To start, you just draw a line on top. Then you take about three points above. Okay, take three points above and mark a point here, and then draw another line. Okay, like this. Here you take thirteen inches and mark here, which I have already. Drawn here, thirteen inches length, and I have also taken point three four seam allowance. I have taken here. Okay, this is again on the folded paper. I have taken. So next, what you do is you need to take the cap height. So as I said, I have taken the cap height for four inches. So you take it from here and mark here. Okay, then draw a line on the cap height. Okay. Then next, what you do is, you have to take the armhole curve. Armhole curve is eight inches. So mark from here. Keep the tape at this end point here, and keep it like this, and mark here eight. This is your biceps measurement. Biceps is seven inches. So half of seven is three point five. So mark here, and take another half and mark here. So the same way, this four inches. See, you've taken four, and also mark here at two, and take another half and mark here. As I showed you in my earlier videos, also this is for finding the midpoint for the armhole curve. This is the midpoint for armhole curve. Okay, now take about three fourth inches inside. Okay, here three fourth inch here, and then. Three-fourth inch here. You must be wondering why I am taking three-fourth inch here and here. I have already shown you in my earlier video of uh, sleeve theory. Okay, then you can see that you will know why I have taken this. So now I have to shape the back armhole curve. So I am going to connect this point, okay, to this midpoint and then to this point. See now, I have connected this point, three fourth inch which I have taken inside, to the mid point, and then to the three fourth inch which I have taken inside, and then I have taken a curve like this. So I have connected like this here, and then three fourth inch I have taken. Now I am going to take half an inch inside the front armhole curve. Okay, then I am going to mark. Yeah, connecting this to this point only. Okay, with a different color. So I'm connect connecting like this. Okay, then here you can turn this and connect, or you can even use a French curve. Whatever is giving you a perfect shape, you have to connect to this point here. Okay, so you can connect like this. See, this is your front armhole curve. That is your back armhole curve. Next, we'll have to measure the sleeve hem. Sleeve hem is 
a sleeve hem is 9 inches so 4.5 should be your sleeve hem so which i'm going to mark here 4.5 here okay you draw and connect this point to this point here now take 1.2 and mark here same way take 1.2 and mark here and connect these two you've done finished with a 3/4 inch sleeve but now since this is a longer sleeve and you don't want this place to be loose so we can give a slight shape like that here okay since the sleeve is longer you can also use the hip curve scale to shape the inner seam of your sleeve like this now i'm going to cut it out so i'm going to open this and make a notch here for the center okay so we are done with the 3/4 sleeve pattern 2 this is for 36 chest sleeve pattern if you want a more length full length sleeve i have also shown you how to measure so take that measurement and you can extend till here whatever length you want okay hope this is clear to you in my next video i will show you the facing for these for the neck for the sleeves and for the waist how you cut out facing for the blouse okay thank you